Lincoln for the Beach High School for the 2016 College Football National Signing Day. So recruiting can be pretty crazy. Tell me about your situation, Aaron, first of all. You, you obviously were a Florida commitment for a long time. Why did you switch to Alabama? Uh, I switched to Alabama because I felt like uh, everything Coach Saban and uh, my recruiting, Coach Cristobal was telling me uh, everything I was dialed in. They were dialed in 100% um, about my future. Um, I felt like they, they cared more about um, my future than uh, anyone else. And I feel like I'm in good hands. Uh, nothing can go wrong with Alabama. I heard Florida might have dropped the ball too. Coach McElwain, I guess, never came to visit you at home. How much did that play a factor in it? Yes, sir. Um, Coach McElwain being down, uh, not, not being ever, uh, well, not, not coming to visit me at all, knowing I'm a, I'm a Florida commit. Um, it, it, it actually uh, took a big part of me um, and my family, my mother. Um, we, we, we didn't, we wasn't liking it at all. Um, it wasn't the best thing for me. I, I didn't feel secure after that. Now, with you, James, you were a University of Miami commit early on. North Carolina got you. Did UM almost come in and get you then at the end? Yes, sir. What kind of happened with them? Like, what the coach was telling me, like, they had spots available. But, like, when I looked at the um, recruiting class, I felt like none of the players was better than me. So I felt like, should I go or should I stay with North Carolina? And I felt like I should stay with North Carolina. Because they taught me, like, since day one, they taught me, like, family is everything. They taught me, like, all the basics. And I love the environment in Chapel Hill. How hard of a decision was it? Because obviously I know you loved UM growing up. How hard was it for you? It was very hard for me. Like leaving home, like I'm not that type of travel guy, but I gotta see new things, do big things. What did North Carolina ultimately do to keep you? What was it that they said? What was it that they did? When did you make your final decision? Like, I already know like some guys that's already at Chapel Hill, so you know, I did a lot, a lot of experience from them. So they tell me a lot about it. When did you make your final decision? Was it this morning or when did you kind of like finally decide, okay, North Carolina's it? Last night. Last night? Yeah. What was it that did it? Like, there's something in the papers, so you know. Uh -huh. There's something in the papers in, and I felt like I was going with Chapel Hill. For both of you guys, what does it mean to just get to this day, to have your dreams come true, sign with the college, and know that you're going to be playing college football next year? Yeah, it, it feels feel pretty good, like, pretty, like, exciting for us. Like, this is my ground, brother, right here. We've been grinding since the summer. So, uh, for me, uh, I've been dreaming about it since I was a kid, man. Uh, they never play on TV, watch college football. Uh, I wanted to be in that spotlight, so um, it's finally uh, become a dream come true. And uh, I feel like it's, it's the best thing. So, now that the whole recruitment process is over, all the stress is over, it's time to move forward and grow. All right, boys, best of luck to you both. We'll be watching you closely. Appreciate it, sir.